Bereshit, Genesis 27. And it came to pass that when Yitzhak was old, and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called at Esau, his eldest son, and said unto him, My son, and he said unto him, Behold, here am I. And he said, Behold now, I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray you, your weapons, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field, and take me some venison, and make me savory meat such as I love, and bring it to me that I may eat, that my soul may bless you before I die. And Rivka heard when Yitzhak spoke to Esau his son. And Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. And Rivka spoke unto El Yaakov her son, saying, Behold, I heard at your father speak unto Esau your brother, saying, Bring me venison and make me savory meat that I may eat, and bless you before Yahuwah, before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command you. Go now to the flock, and fetch me from thence two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savory meat for your father such as he loves. And you shall bring it to your father, that he may eat, and that he may bless you before his death. And Yaakov said to El Rivka, his mother, Behold, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father, peradventure, will feel me, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be your curse, my son, only obey my voice, and go fetch me them. And he went and fetched, and brought them to his mother, and his mother made savory meat, such as his father loved. And Rivka took at goodly raiment of her eldest son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them upon at Yaakov, her younger son. And she put at the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hands, and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave at the savory meat, and at the bread, which she had prepared, into the hand of her son Yaakov. And he came unto his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here am I. Who are you, my son? And Yaakov said unto his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done according as you bade me. Arise, I pray you, sit and eat of my venison, that your soul may bless me. And Yitschak said unto his son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because Yahuwah Elohaika brought it to me. And Yitschak said unto El Yaakov, Come near, I pray you, that I may feel you, my son, whether you be my very son Esau or not. And Yaakov went near unto El Yitschak his father. And he felt him and said, The voice is Yaakov's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy as his brother Esau's hands. So 
he blessed him. And he said, Are you my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless you. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat. And he brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Yitschak said unto him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him, and he smelled at the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which Yahuwah has blessed. Therefore, Elohim, give you of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of grain and wine. Let people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brethren. Let your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone that curses you, and blessed be he that blesses you. And it came to pass, as soon as Yitzhak had made an end of blessing at Yaakov, and Yaakov was yet scarce gone out from the presence of Yishak his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunting. And he also had made savory meat and brought it unto his father, And said unto his father, Let my father arise and eat of his son's venison, that your soul may bless me. And Yitschak his father said unto him, Who are you? And he said, I am your son, your firstborn, Esau. And Yitschak trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that has taken venison and brought it me? And I have eaten of all before you came, and have blessed him. Yea, and he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard at the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Your brother came with subtlety and has taken away your blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Yaakov? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away at my birthright. Behold, now he has taken away my blessing. And he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me? And Yitschak answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him your Lord, and at all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with grain and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do now unto you, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Have you but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice, and wept. And Yishak, Yishak, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, your dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above, and by your sword shall you live, and shall serve at your brother. And it shall come to pass, when you shall have the dominion, that you shall break his yoke from off your neck. And Esau hated at Yaakov because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother at Yaakov. And at these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rivka. And she sent and called Yaakov, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, your brother Esau, as touching you, comforts himself, purposing to kill you. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice, and arise, 
Flee to Levan, my brother, to Haran. Tarry with him a few days until your brother's fury turn away, until your brother's anger turn away from you, at, and he forget that which you have done to him. Then I will ascend and fetch you from thence. Why should I be deprived also of you both in one day? And Rivka said to El Yitshak, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Cheth. If Yaakov take a woman of the daughters of Cheth, such as these which are of the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do me?